Alrighty, read the shirt. Are you afraid of clowns? I'm not really, but, well, people think clowns are scary, so therefore, that's why they continue to put them in horror movies, no matter how bad the uh, budget or anything else could uh, possibly describe. Can't bl blood. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, I choke up when I talk about stupid things and can't <clears throat> blood. <coughs> Really, honestly, I'm like choking up every time I say camp. <coughs> camp blood, because it's fucking crap. Dear fucking God. Like I said, this this is um, just my opinion of these movies. So, I'm not going to sit there and name off a shit ton of celebrities and be like, Oh, so far as Jessica Sarah Parker's was in this movie. No. It's just my opinion about the movie itself. Just the movie. Camp Blood, dear God, it does suck. It really does suck. It. The movie is horrible. The effects suck. The storyline sucks. Everything sucks. It's just stupid. All it is is basically is the opening scene has the fucking bird watchers fucking and getting killed by a person in a clown mask, and then it's like oh, about like a day, an hour, maybe. I don't know because there's no time frame. Or even anything that like gives me an idea of how far from this opening scene to when uh, Tris and Steve and Jay and Nicole all decide to go out and go hiking in the same fucking woods that get you know the killer clown is in. And it's stupid. The fucking acting sucks. Everybody, there's a couple I'd say. I would say Steve is sincere about him trying to act. Jay just acts like an asshole. Nicole doesn't have a whole lot of lines. She's just there for looks in the sex scene. And Trish is our main hero. And, God, this movie fucking just sucks. If you were to pick this movie up, don't watch it. Just watch this, and I'll tell you, it sucks. Everything about the movie is just fucking bullshit. It's one of those movies where it's like, you know what would be a good idea? What? Let's do a camping movie, but there's always like a shit ton of this, but ours has a clown, and it's dumb, it, it is, like I, I would really honestly say that I would not watch this movie, the only reason why I picked this up was because back in the day I went to a yard sale when VHS's were still a thing, yeah, that far back, that extreme far, far back, I picked up a copy in a VHS tape of Camp Blood Two, and oh my God! So it's like Camp Blood Two was fair. And he, you know, it was good. It wasn't bad, but we're not reviewing that movie, and that's what made me want to go get Camp Blood because I had no idea. You know, I hate watching a second movie without watching the first one if the story is done right, where the first one and the second one do intertwine. And the only reason why I say that is because there are there there are several movies where the first one's like. The last one, and then the second one's there, and then the third one is actually the first one. But let's just say the Fast and the Furious, if you look at it in some scenarios. So that's why I picked up Camp Blood, and I watched it, and it was like, dear God, it sucked. I will admit, though, that with Camp Blood, it was one of those movies that made me want to start doing special effects and try to make films, but I live in Indiana, so like everybody doesn't really like to do anything like that, so... Anyways, um, that was part of the drive towards me wanting to do special effects is because I kind of looked at it and I'm like, well, I could probably do that better. And that's sort of why I made some short films. Not a whole lot, but I've tried. Only just because I like special effects. So, you know, Camp Blood gets a bonus for giving me some uh, inspiration. I know, really honestly, this movie's so shitty that it gives me inspiration to want to do special effects. But... Other than that, the movie just sucks. It's so fucking stupid and so low budget that it's not even funny. I mean, it's actually funny that it's so low budget, but it's like, it's so sad that it's so low budget that it's funny. It's just, it's, you sympathize, sympathize with it just for the pure fact that it's like, damn, I'm just gonna like, give this a, a, an okay, but no. Um... Yeah, the story... Oh, God, I cannot help it. I, you know, I'm just going to run the whole movie. This is how it goes. Trish and her friends go camping. There's this guy named Ronnie Fatcher that's all like, 
don't forget about the clown. The clown's out in the woods, and everybody's like, you know, the stereotypical when they say the urban legend that's out in the woods, and everyone's all like, oh, you know, he's just fucking around with us. And then the fucking clown pops up and is, you know, fucking there. And the funny part is there's this fucking, um, like, I guess, like, guide or something. And she's supposed to help him. And she's, like, super feminist, I guess. But, I mean, she turns out to be a lesbian. No offense. No offense when I say it. I'm, I'm being sincere. The guide is a lesbian because in the story she tells about how the clown became, she made it sound like a heterosexual relation. But it was actually her girlfriend that slept with a guy and she got mad and killed him. Yeah, so Harris is the clown. The clown is Harris. And, um, it's like, that's the basis of it. And it's what's so stupid is, is, um, they have a scene where Harris is dead. But then at the end of the movie, she was the clown. And they don't explain that. And what's really stupid is they basically pin it on Trisha. They're like, well, Trisha did it. She's the one who did all the killing. It's like, no. No, she fucking didn't, because what would make sense is if uh, Harris used the body of the blonde hair girl she killed to replace hers, because since they both have blonde hair, that would make sense. But this movie would be better, and I wouldn't be saying it was shit if it made sense. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like what's so iron, what is so ironic about this whole entire movie is that it's like it sucks because the story sucks. But it would be more interesting if the story made more sense. That's the whole problem with this whole entire movie. If any, if any of you who are watching this have actually seen Camp Blood, you know what I'm trying to get at. And my opinion is just saying that this movie really does suck. It, yeah, I shouldn't have to go into detail. I mean, I like it for its cheap quirkiness and it's like it's funny. But at the same time, it's stupid. And some of the... Filming the way they did stuff is stupid. I hate the fact that when the killer is the killer has his machete and he's like swinging it, it sounds like a legitimate like one of those old school cash registers, you know, that do the shiching, shiching, shiching. Yeah, legitimately, it makes that sound. Um, I definitely have to say, if you want to pick it up, go for it. You can get it for the cheap. Uh, I remember when I bought my DVD copy, I think it cost me like $2.50 and then like $2.50 for shipping and handling. So I spent like 5 bucks. It wasn't bad. I mean, I should have gotten it for less when I'm finding out people are picking this movie up for like 50 cents to less now. But I mean, that was back in like 2000 and something. And here we are now. Um, but this movie also has spawned. Uh, Camp Blood 2 and Within the Woods and there's supposedly a third a fourth one but I'm not going to even touch it because I've seen the trailer to it and it looks shitty it just right down just shitty it's not worth it but I mean this movie just sucks it does um, the clown's not scary it's just a guy it's like if Michael Myers Pennywise and Jason Voorhees had an orgy. Yeah, I'm legitimately just trying to describe what this clown's supposed to be because it's a clown with a jumpsuit with a machete. So it's Michael Myers' jumpsuit, Pennywise because the clown mask, and the machete because of Jason. But they all had a love child, you know, they fucking just pound the fucking shit out of it and then boom! There's the clown. I know, that was the best, you know way to describe how they probably came up with this character. I mean, that's probably what the guy who was writing this movie was all like, you know, it'd be really scary what's that? It'd be, you know, it'd be really scary if, uh, they, uh, if we had a clown with a machete and a jumpsuit. Oh, yeah, because those things are all reliable and Michael Myers and Jason and Pennywise, right? Oh, yeah. And then they go camping. Really? That, that's what they do? Oh, yeah, that's because that's what horror movies do. Everybody goes camping, and everybody has sex, drugs, and premarital sex, and they get killed. And yet, this movie was spawned. That's how I figured this movie was made. It's not worth it. It's never going to be. So don't 
don't give it a try, give it a try. If you do give it a try and you remember this video, tell me what you think. If you've seen this movie, tell me what you think. I would love to hear from you. But other than that, yeah, this movie just sucks. Do not watch it. Not worth it. So other than that, have a nice day. And um, Halloween's coming soon. And have a nice October.